Welcome, May 4th. May the force be with you. So in the month of May, we're going to go to into total body interval training. Interval training today is going to be 45 seconds of exercise with 15 seconds of rest. And that's what today is going to work out. We're also going to need weights. Now, if you don't have weights right now, that's fine. You can um, exercise with me later and hit pause. But if you do have weights today, um, excellent. So you can either use free weights. We borrowed two messes, so we're lucky that way. If you don't have weights, you can grab soup cans. So these would be a nice lightweight you could use. If you wanted to increase the weight, you had two of the same type of bottles, fill them up with water. You can use those because we use weights for bicep curls. Now, if you work out often and you want heavier weights, four liters full of water are great ways with handles and you can pull up way through. An exercise step is not needed, but it makes things easier when you're doing push-ups. And it also makes things easier when you're doing the cardio components. So before we're doing Tabata and we're doing two ex super setting two exercises over and over and over, today you're only going to see one exercise at one time, only for 45 seconds. The goal is the same, to be exhausted after each set. There's five total body sets. After each set, we're going to have a break. Reminder to drink lots of water during the water breaks. Go Hughes, go. Let's get started. All right. We're going to warm up first. So you're not going to hear the Tabata machine going. We're just going to warm up to get started. All right. Let's get started with some jumping jacks. Eight more. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. We get our arms going because we're going to be doing lots of shoulders today. We're going to have some push ups in a workout. I'm going to start swimming backwards. All right, we're going to move into a knee, repeat, knee repeater. So if you have an exercise step, you can put one foot on and you're just going to bounce into it. We're going to do it in a 16 count of each motion. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Switch legs. One. Eight more. Four, three, two, one. Let's drag it out. Do some butt kickers. Good job. Chest up. High knees. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna do some squat jumps. How else does it squat down? And up, chest up. Pushing your weight onto your heels. Butt back, trying to drop into that 90. Four more. Two, one. Jumping jacks. Get that body warm. Go use go. That's why I'm a green monster today. Get my house points, my house spirit going. Four, three, two, one. Skipping with some swimming. I'm gonna swim backwards. Three, two, one. Knee repeater. Again, you can do that from the ground. Four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Switch legs. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And high knees. Eight more. Kick butt. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, jump out. Here we go, squat. One, we're only going to do eight, two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, last one. There we go. Grab some water. 
I'm gonna put one minute on my watch, then we're gonna get started. All right, so the little boot campers aren't here because they don't know how to do weight training and they're a little bit young to be doing weights. So if you have little boot campers with you, uh, Thursdays is a date to come. So Thursdays gonna be no weights, total body interval training. Mondays, today's is gonna be the one with weights. So lots of us might be new to weights, so I'm gonna go through it. Mr. Baines does weight training all the time. So if you are like Mr. Baines, you can just power through it to start. Our first interval training is gonna have no weights. You're still gonna rest. I'm gonna explain during the rest time. So it's going to be total body. Number one thing in the total body is always gonna be cardio. Number two is gonna be upper body. Number three is gonna be lower body. Back to the upper body and we're gonna finish with core. That's for five exercises for total body. That's what it's gonna look like. Our first interval for a cardiovascular. Jump up and down. So if you see my step, if you have a step, you're gonna jump onto it and off of it. Okay, if you don't have a step, you just have a mat. Right, I'm putting this piece of dirt to my mat and just jump on and off. So from the front, it could look like this. Narrow, wide, narrow, wide. If you don't have an exercise step, that's the cardio. Um, our upper body is going to be push up. And if you have an exercise step, it actually makes them easier. So to make the easiest push ups, I'm on an elevated step. My legs are wide. Even easier would be to drop my knees down and then putting all the weight into my hands. So that's a modification. If you get exhausted because 45 seconds is tough, you can screech your knees in closer to the step and make it easier for yourself. But the goal of a total body, you're doing this exercise one time, is to be exhausted, to not be able to finish. That's what really their goal is. So that's our upper body. We all know the lower body one's gonna be a lunge. So keeping my chest high, I'm gonna step down, driving down with my back knee. That's gonna be our lower body. Our back to our upper body will be our tricep muscle. We're working both sides. You know, tricep dips from PE classes. And I'll talk you through those at that time. And we're gonna finish with plank jacks, which are brand, brand new. Now, if you get exhausted during them, just hold the plank here, okay? But it's one challenge. Plank jacks are wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow. That's the arm, okay? Let's get started. Cardio, jumping on and off. If you don't have a step, going running in narrow to wide or jumping in narrow to wide. 45 seconds. And you get a 15 second breathing break, so it's new. Get ready. Cardio, jumping on and off. Going narrow day. Set. Work. Jumping on and off. If you don't have a step, you're jumping narrow to wide. You can add intensity or speed or explosion down and explode up. Keep pushing. This is our cardio. You want to be tired. Doing great. Chest up. You want to feel uncomfortable. Push up. Are you Rest. 45 seconds of push-ups can be tricky. So I'm going to bring my mat here in case I get tired so I can drop my knees down. But I'm going to start the challenging phase and then drop in. So my elbows are stacked. Underneath my shoulders, Work. off we go. Make sure you're looking up to your eyebrows, opening up your oxygen so it can reach all parts of your body. Keeping your strong core, pushing your belly button up towards your spine. Pause the self talk, push through it. Which makes you stronger. Get into the comfort zone and pushing through. You can always modify dropping your knees. Well done. Rest. Next is our lunges, lower body. So hands are on my hips, keeping my spine nice and tall through my motions. I'm gonna step, and this leg stays straight. It drives down. This one's not. Kind of leading the exercise. Big steps, drive down. Work. Our hands on our hips, we're going to engage our cores. You don't want to be putting your head towards the screen like this. 
I'll give you a back injury. So keep nice and straight. Fine. Drive that back knee down straight to the ground. Well done. We can add intensity we do lunge jumps. But I have a bad knee, so I can't get that yet. But that's something you could do. Or you can add some more speed. Well done, chest up, strong core, control the body. Here we go. Rest. You can find some elevation, a chair, a ledge, to get into your tricep dips. Work. Isolating the muscle. That means that the only thing that's doing is that hinge, that elbow hinge. And it's extending to the top and flexing, then flexing the tricep, and then reach the top. If you want to add intensity, you can add speed. Focus. If you want to add intensity, you can move your legs up too. That makes it trickier. Getting tired, you can move your feet closer to the step or your bottom. That makes it easier. Rest. All right, one more exercise this toll set. We're into core those jump those plank jacks. So these are tricky. It has a cardio component to it. So getting a strong plank, and then you're gonna go wide, narrow. Right? Yeah, intensity to speed. Work. Keeping that strong core. Right up. On the navel towards the spine. If your core isn't strong enough yet, just hold here and be strong. Almost there. Push into the comfort zone. This is where we get progress. We get stronger. Session complete. Right, water for you. Make sure you get that water in you. We're into set number two of five. So you're doing great. Again, we're doing the same combination. The first one's going to be cardio. Upper body, lower, upper, finish with core. All right, interval number two. We need knit weights for this round. If you don't have any with you and you're staying live with us, you can just pretend you have ones in your hands. So our cardio is going to be here. One, two, three, four. Butt kickers. One, two, three, four. 45 seconds. Our upper body is going to be a bicep curl. So if I have my weights here, I'm going to isolate this joint here. So this is the muscle, the bicep. I'm going to get my feet or shoulder width apart. My chest is up. Slight bend. My weights, palms are to the sky. I'm going to bring them up and down. I want to be controlled, bring them up, and control, bring them down. We don't want to see this. This is how we can get injuries. See how I'm pushing my hips to gain momentum? You don't want that. You're going to pull it up, and then you're going to control it down. I don't want to see this. Bad. I don't want to see this. Whew. That's going to give me injuries in my elbows. So we want to be in control of our weights. We can't control them. That's too heavy. So drop down to something lighter until you have excellent form. Okay. Now, you're new to weight training also, and after the 45 seconds, you're like, boom, I can do this all day. It means you need some heavier weight, so maybe you can move up to a milk jug next time. All right? Another new one, let's go, if you haven't done weights before, is called tricep kickback. So I like to pretend we're, like, we're going for a snow skiing with coals. I'll show you from the side. We're here. And you kind of lean, lean, lean forward like you're going to sprint down the mountain. Then your weights come at your hips, and then you're going to kick it back, extend, and then bring it in. Extend. Bring it in. All right, so that's, those are the two with weights. I'll walk you through it when we get there. So let's get started with our cardio. Right here, here. All right, we're gonna do four of them. Two, three, four, then to our butt. And we'll do our bicep curls. Ready for cardio. Here we go, four touches to the heels. Go. Work. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven,
This is our cardio push. You gotta push to get your heart rate up. Give that speed. Give that hop. Rest. Please remember to be in control of your weights. And I don't want to see any of this. So I'm only using this muscle here. Stay strong to the floor. Control them up. Work. Control them down. Chest up. Knees are slightly bent. Be in control of your weight. If you need to weight drop, you find that you're not you're doing this. That means your weight's too heavy. Grab some lighter ones now. If you feel like you need to do this to get them up, drop weight, get your soup cans. They'll have good form. When you get to the top of your curl, think about that bicep muscle. That's the muscle we're working. And squeeze it at the top. Squeeze and control down. Nice and slow in the down. Slow down. Rest. All right, our legs are going to be squat jumps. Okay, if you don't have a step, you can just load down, jump up, drop down. If you have a step, we're gonna jump on and off the step. Work. Again, you can modify if this is too much for you. You don't have to do any jumping. You can just stand there and just drop. So you do you. Pushing your hips back. Woo. Woo. Saw that one. Rest. That's right, you need weights. Triceps are the smaller muscles. This muscle back here. You might want lighter than what you had in the bicep curl. So I might have to drop weight. So again, my legs are shoulder width apart. Slight bend. I'm going to tilt forward the hips. Work. My weight, so you can see my arms straight out. Kicking it back. So 12 triceps. Kick it. Boom. Keep your head up so you can breathe. Be in control. So don't swing and just let them bounce in. You come to the hip. Breathe. Stand back out. Dave actually is the one who works out all the time. If you get a chance to look back there at his form, it's going to be better than mine. Done. Rest. All right. Core. Spider. Man plank. Make sure you're from the side. You can be in a strong plank position. When you feel strong, then you bring your elbow. You reach your elbow in the back. Make sure that you are strong. Work. And step before you bring up the other leg. It's actually better if you do it slower. See how slow you can bring that leg into the spider man position. You can feel the hard. If you're not feeling strong, just hold right here. Making sure our elbows. Are stacked under our shoulders. How slow can you go? Doing good. Session complete. Grab some water. Get ready. We're in, we're in total body number three. Two left. Okay. So our cardio is, if you've been doing boot camps, we're gonna do skaters. So all my body weight's gonna start on one side. Then I'm gonna swing my weight across. Boom, boom, comes across. It's kind of like what it looks like slow motion when you gotta hop to it. Looks like that. For our cardio, our upper body's gonna be push-ups. To make it easier, we're gonna do walking push-ups. So I'm gonna be in a push-up position. 
I'm going to do a push up and watch my hands are going to come together. And then you're going to pop out. That's the block. And then down. And my hands come together. Pop out. Down. Together. So kind of going in that angle there. So we're walking push up. So that's going to be your upper body. Three, two lunges. These are new to boot camp with myself. So if you've done them before, you can grab some weights. So what you're going to do is you're going to take just like the skater. Remember the skater's going to be like this? So crunchy lunge, you're going to take that back foot goes back there, and you're into a lunge position. And we'll pop, weight transfer onto this foot. This leg is going to go behind and down. That's what crunchy lunge looks like. You're welcome to grab weights if you're ready for that. And that is our lower body. And then our for triceps, we're going to do plank ups. So plank ups are, I'll do this one here. I'm here, plank position, down. Try to keep them narrow so that we're working the bicep here, the tricep. And then we're going to finish. Ooh, it's a Russian twist, so you're gonna need a mat um, if, to keep your spine healthy, or you can go straight to the carpet or the grass. All right, let's get started with some cardio. Skaters, are you set? Got your water? Skaters, 45 seconds, here we go. Work. Get them here, weight transferring across. Once I figured out the motion, I can add width. So how wide I jump to add intensity, I can add speed. And your heart rate should be up. So you want to push yourself as hard as you can. Heart rate needs to be up. Well done, almost there. Cardio push through. Rest. I move a little bit over here, so I need to learn to walk kind of to that triangle. Work. Modify it by putting your knees down, walking slower and holding at the top before you go down into your push up. Rest. All right, we're going to do those curtsy lunges that we talked about. So it's really important that you grab weights if you want. So your scares your foot's going behind, and then you're just going to drop back. Nine. Work. Jump. I'm going to add the jump to mine. You want to bend low because it is lower body. So you want to make sure you're bending nice and low into it. And if you're tired from the cardio, just walk through it. Make sure you're low. Driving through. Chest up. Hello. All right, you're going to need your mat. Rest. Ready for some core? So. Grab your imaginary ball. I'm going to bring my feet up. And we're going to be twisting. Bring your imaginary ball to the ground for extension. You can take your knees. This is easy. This is harder. Pushing my knees away from my chest.
Taking your toes, you put your feet down. And continue with that finish here, bring your twist in. Rest. All right, triceps, we're going to triceps. We're going to do a plank up and down. So we're going to be in plank position, starting high, keeping the arrow down. Work. Down. On this one, when you put, you want your hands placed right close to your ribs. That's going to engage the tricep muscle more. And that's what our goal is with this exercise is the tricep. Again, for a modification, you can put your knees down. Session complete. All right, so we are working on oh, body number four. We're almost done. Two left. One. Two. Getting long into short divides today. Short four intervals. So we're going to do up and overs for cardio. So this one, if you don't have an exercise step, just using your towel, bring that. The key is you're going to drive hips back. And across again, it's for cardio, so you're going to just try to get your heart rate up going fast. If you want to work muscle endurance, you would want to drive up and down, but we're going for cardio there. Then you're going to do um, your upper body, you can do a plank with the shoulder touch, and then we're going to move into um, what are we doing? Oh, these are great. You need to, you don't need to be elevated, but they're more fun. I'll walk you through it. So you're going to go off wide back. On after 45 seconds, we're gonna switch legs and then we'll finish off with some uh, core and we'll do last about a straight core. That's gonna be the plan. This is really your last cardio push, so get ready for your up and overs. One foot is on your mat, and then you're gonna jump over onto the other side. 45 seconds, last cardio push. Are you ready? Here we go. Work really just looking for speed here. Like this. You want it straight cardio. You. you want to add a bit of muscle endurance. You add that bounce into it. Last push on cardio. Get that heart rate up. When I feel uncomfortable during this phase. Touching your shoulder, try not to rock your hips on that. Work. Try and keep our core strong, not rocking when we weight transfer with our shoulder touches. my favorite leg exercises because it looks easy, but it's not. So if you don't have an exercise step, all I want you to do is put all your weight here so, so it's not even touching. All right, we're going to go off, wide, Work. back, back on top. Come off, come wide, and back on top. So you can use that motion. If you want to add speed to it, you can. If you're really slow, it is more painful. Why don't you try both? Try medium speed, try fast. Fast makes it feel better. If you want a good burn, go really slow. So 
really my weight should be on top of this leg. Give it a nice bend. Feel that lactic acid building up. Rest. All right, other side. Same thing. Start with both feet on top. Maybe. Setting into that knee all the way here. Down. Wide. Work. Let that bird push through it. Get through, right? Feel uncomfortable. You're through the comfort zone. That's when you're getting stronger. Push. Rest. So, you're going to be trying to create that L shape. You're going to reach up and touch your shoelaces. So, you're trying to keep that L shape here. All I'm doing is reaching for my shoelaces. So really, I'm bringing Work. my shoulder blades up and down. I want to feel high. I can reach up to my laces, which brings my shoulder blades high up the ground. That's the goal. Session complete. Our last exercise is not going to be total body, it's going to be total core. So we got five more exercises left of our, of our workout today. It's all going to be core. First one's going to be mountain climbers, so it's going to be like core and cardio. And then I'm just going to mix it up in between for the rest of the surprise. I'll give you 30 more seconds to grab some water, and then we're going to get into the mountain climbers for some cardio and core. And then we'll get into some more fun. Ten more seconds. Okay, if you haven't done mountain climbers before, you need to have a strong core like this. And all you're doing, because it's cardio too, is the speed. So driving my knees. It's as much as the percent to try to go back. All right. Here we go. Five more exercises to the end. Working on core, mountain climbers. Get on the mountain. Ready. Here we go. Work. Kind of core and cardio, so really driving your knees as fast as you can. Last push for cardio. If you're getting tired, you can just march them in like this. You can go slow. But you. Down. Muddy. Right, we're going to do a traditional rest. Test, like we do in the muscle endurance testing for a beep test. So, sitting down, having the feet shape right here. 45 seconds. Straight sit up. Here we go. Work. Rest. Which can do straightening up our lower back. 
knees to the ground, my shoulder blades are solid ground, and I push my hips up to the, the sky. And I'm going to tuck my shoulder blades underneath. And I'm going to go down and up. Work. When I come to the top, I'm squeezing my glutes together, and I'm keeping my knees together, making sure they're not going wide. Sure, focus about your knees. Think about pushing your hips to the sky, all the way to the top. Squeezing your glutes, your bum muscles at the top. So if you haven't done a bicycle before, your feet look like this. So just go like this. If you haven't done it before, just make sure you're nice and slow. Make sure your hands come in here. So you know, shoulder to knee, shoulder to knee, work across. You're just going to come down, and all you're going to do is reach for your heels. It's like this. Reaching for your heels. Last one of today. Here we go. Reaching for heel for heel. Session complete. That's a good job. Good workout today. So the month of May is all going to be total body intervals. So it'll be set up the exact same way. But make sure once you're done exercises like today, you have kind of a window of 30 minutes to make sure you get some static stretching. Because when you're working out, you're shortening the muscles. So you want to make sure you stretch your muscles back out to prevent injury. Make sure you get lots of water today. Enjoy this special week of Hughes. Hopefully I can see you on Thursday for no weights, total body. Have a great day.